Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again to take a look at the new Benchmade turret. This is the newest addition to the Benchmade Black Class line, which is their tactical, military, and law enforcement line of production knives. We've got a blade of CPM S30V with a high height saber grind, top swedge, and black coated blade, dual thumb studs. Um, aggressive jimping at the spine. You got a full stainless liner construction. You can see the liners are skeletonized to help reduce weight. Jimping on the back here as well for a nice grip for the thumb. And sight free indexing. The blade rides on phosphor bronze washers and operates on the axis lock mechanism. Very smooth and snappy to deploy. Sort of a subtle dual guard here. Some contoured and 3D milled handles made from OD Green G10, two position stainless steel deep carry clip, generous lanyard hole, and open back construction. Now this knife falls right between the Benchmade Rift and the Benchmade Adamus as far as their tactical line. So you can see you're getting a very similar blade size to the Adamus as far as length but then when you take a look at the thickness the turret is a little less thick than the adamas as is the overall handle and of course that leaves a much lighter weight for easier carryability now the turret also gets an upgrade to the s30v blade steel as opposed to the 154 on the rift or the d2 on the adamas and the nice thing about S30V is it's actually going to be a fully stain resistant steel versus the D2. And it's also going to be a higher wear resistant steel and a tougher steel than 154CM or D2. So you get a great balance of toughness, corrosion resistance, and wear resistance. Of course, the black coating is also going to enhance toughness. We've got the partially serrated edge here. Great for rope and webbing, and they do have a plain edge version coming out soon. So overall, just a great addition to the black class lineup from Benchmade. And this knife is also going to make a great option for an EDC that you can really trust to be ready for some serious use. And here's just a quick shot of the turret with the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 for a quick size comparison. Similar length and blade, both S30V blade steel. You can see the turret's a little thinner in the overall stock while being more robust at the point thanks to the grind. Overall functional grip area is going to be fairly similar. The thickness in the handle is going to be a little bit more on the turret. And then the footprint of the two is going to be comparable here as you can see. And here you can see the turret in my pocket. The deep carry pocket clip provides secure and discreet carry. The knife draws smoothly from the pocket thanks to the smooth G10 at the center point of the contour. The knife deploys fast and smooth on the phosphor bronze washers thanks to the axis lock mechanism and dual thumb studs. And the knife, while being relatively large, still allows for easy access to other items in the pocket making it a great option for a tactical everyday carry. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the new Benchmade Knives turret. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like the video below, subscribe to our YouTube channel feed, and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.